Hello, YouTubers. Guitar Man 3 yt here. And sorry, it's been a while since I did a, another video because the weather in Texas has been crazy this last week. Anyway, even with all that going on or whatever, I still managed to get my parts that I needed for my acoustic. I'm going to show those to you real quick and then we're going to put them on. These are those adapters I needed for my uh, tuning machine in the last video. The last video I showed you about the, the gold Waverly style tuning machines I was going to put on there, but the holes were too big for them because they're vintage style. I ordered these from, uh, I believe it was the Stratosphere. They have a lot of good parts. But it's just little gold adapter. There it is. This fits in the 10 millimeter hole and then the hole in the middle is the same size as the vintage tuner. So we're going to get the tuners put on today. Plus they look pretty cool. They look good with the gold tuners. Good. Gold and the brass. Kind of just a less shinier gold. Those gonna get look good on there. And last week, or the week before I think it was, so you put this on there. So we can get that. I got some new strings for it. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna get these put on. Put some new strings on. Oh, and I'm gonna lower. I'm gonna lower the axle a little bit. It's not too bad. But I like it lower than that. So I'm going to when I put the new strings on, I'm gonna take that saddle out and sand it down a couple of millimeters. I didn't order a new saddle and nut because these came this guitar came with a new bone saddle already new bone is a good brand that's cool so I'm assuming the nut is gonna be out of the same stuff hopefully part two of this video since it's been about a week I started that video or this video last week and I told you I was going to be putting my tuners on my acoustic and that's what I did but it took a little bit longer quite a bit longer because I figured out how to put electric guitar strings on an acoustic so I can play it just like an electric so I finally got it to play like like an electric this plays just as good as one, as one of my strats I put nine electric strings on there, but the problem I had with it is when I first did it, I took the saddle off and sanded it down a millimeter, millimeter or two, like I said I was going to. But when I got the strings back on, there's the new bridge pins, the brass bridge pins. 
got those in there. And when I got the strings back on, I had a dead, totally dead fret right here. I mean, wouldn't play for nothing. And so, ended up having to put a shim in. After I just got that lowered, then I ended up, ended up putting a shim in there. And when I got the shim in there, then the strings were too high. And it was still dead right here. So then, I had to go through all the process of figuring out measuring everything, figuring out what the deal was. And somehow, I don't know if it was just from going from the other strings to these strings, but somehow it messed the neck, the tension on the neck, and I had a, a bow right here, which was causing it to fret out here. So I had to go in there and loosen the truss rod, and I had to loosen it like two or three times. I did a quarter turn, like they say, you always do just a quarter of a turn. I did a quarter of a turn. It was getting a little bit better, but still not good enough. Did another quarter of a turn, a little better. Sure enough, after about three quarter turns, I finally got that fret to not be dead anymore. And then I was still stuck with high strings here now. Now I had no dead frets, but the strings are still high, so I had to go back in there again, take the shim out again, Anyway, long story short, I finally got it all in there. I got the action the way I wanted it. It's got electric Ernie Ball nines, and I used the, I believe they're called RP, RPS strings or something, because they're reinforced. Every string is reinforced, even the small. The first through the third have reinforcement on it. So I wanted that for the bridge pins to be able to hold it in there nicely. And I got these on there. Don't worry about my straps. These are my straps, what I hold my guitar on the wall with. Got those on there, we just barely see the old hole right there because these are so big. But they're really nice, they seem to be doing pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Except I might have, I might replace this. I don't really like the, the tuner that's on here. You have to change each note. You have to do E, then hit the button, go to A, hit the button, go to G, hit the button, go to B, whatever, and that gets on my nerves. So I'm gonna try to find a, a different one. Like the one on my classical automatically changes the notes and it tunes really well. This one doesn't seem to tune very well. So I'm probably gonna do that, but as far as the inlays go, I decided not to really mess with that. So maybe later on but not right now, because it's great to play guitar the way it is right now. You can bend.
play this guitar already a bunch of times. So that was enough of that. Anyway, so to answer the question of anybody that wants to know, can you put electric guitar strings on an acoustic? Absolutely yes. Just try to get the ones that are reinforced all the way, all six strings that are reinforced so they don't break off in the bridge pin. The bridge pin. The bridge pin needs something to grab it. And if you have a thin string with no winding on it, it's not going to be able to grab it very good in there. So anyway, that's my $200 Oscar Schmidt that I've customized with my gold open, open gear tuners that are like a Waverly copy. The brass bridge pins reset the action to be super low, like an electric, with Ernie Ball 9's. So anyway, I hope you liked it. Hope you liked what I did to it. Oh yeah, I also put this on there. <laughs> and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And please help support my channel by subscribing. I'm almost to 500 <laughs> after three years. Three years and almost to 500. Anyway, if you could help me get that and then help me get my big goal of 1,000, I'd appreciate it so much. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. Till next time. See ya.